hi guys welcome back to my channel this video is gonna be my uh bronzer uh collection and declutter i'm pretty sure i'm gonna declutter a couple here and there um i do have all of my like powder bronzers pulled out over here and i do have a little tiny bin i call it tiny bin it's a lot of cream products but the cream bronzers are in here um i hope that you enjoyed this video while you're watching it and if you do please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel before you leave it's a free thing you can always change your mind if you don't like my content later um anyway let's go ahead and get into it okay oof i gotta settle down you guys i gotta get a spot oh, i feel like maybe i'm too low here i think we're okay um i do have a couple like bronzer contour palettes and then the individual bronzers i think maybe we'll go ahead and get started with the palettes i am gonna go ahead and pull all of this out if i can carry it all Ooh, it's heavy Ugh. here we go and i'm gonna go ahead and pull out all of my singles which majority of my bronzers, I guess. All right, what do we got? We got face palettes, face palettes, or bronzing palettes. And okay, I think that's all for singles. I pulled out all the singles. These are just palettes. Um, I might have duos. I do have a couple duos in here. So, um, I'll, um, I'll pull those next. Uh, yeah, I have a couple duos, so we'll do these next. I, I guess there's a duo here. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I'll go ahead and get started with this Too Faced Bonjour Soleil Limited Edition Summer Bronzing Wardrobe. Uh, this has survived so many declutters. I just love this thing. I miss the days when this is what Too Faced used to be. I love this Snow Bunny bronzer. Um, I actually use it as a highlight. These two shades mixed together or any of the single shades. And when I'm tanner, I would use a darker shade. Sun Bunny, it's another beautiful bronzer. It's like one side is matte, one side is satiny. And then the Chocolate Soleil, of course. And I, I actually really, really enjoy the brush that's in here for bronzing. Um, I, I actually enjoyed this a lot. I had decluttered a lot of the single bronzers because these were in here. So I am gonna go ahead and hold on to it. Plus it just makes me feel kind of nostalgic. I know, kind of crazy, but. Um, BH Cosmetics, Weekend Vibes, Belgian Waffles. This is a really good one. I really actually enjoy it. The highlighters in here are beautiful. The bronzers are really nice. So I'm not gonna part with this one. She is gonna stay. Um, and I guess if, <laughs> let me do my disclaimer before we go too much into this video. Um, I purchased all of my products with my own money or they were gifted to me by friends and family. So I try to be mindful and not just waste my money away or their money away. Um, so if I don't declutter too many things, there's a reason I, that's my money gonna go in the trash. Um, and then next, if it's something that's old or just disgusting goes in the trash, um, my friends and family can ask if they want anything that looks good to them. They can request it. Otherwise it will be on Poshmark and I will have my Poshmark in the description box. I don't think that there's going to be much on here anyways, but I just needed to put that disclaimer on there. Um, from Tarte, this is the Tarteiste Pro Glow palette. <laughs> uh, I actually love this one and I, I felt like I just do not want to part with it because I did really, really enjoy it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I, one of the reasons I used to like it a lot is this um, cream um, shade they're called shade in here of like a, a cream bronzing uh contouring shade i used to love that one it used to be a really good considering what else was in the market but now there's so many cream products that it's kind of like trying to reach for this one it's not as convenient um the highlighters in here are pretty pretty but it's just i feel i'm kind of like over this one yeah we'll try to do swatches here and there i cannot promise many swatches will look good i just came back from vacation and i'm super tan oh the highlighters are still really pretty mm. 
See, this is my problem. And I think somebody had commented on one of my previous videos saying, stop swatching because swatching is your, you know, kryptonite. And I totally agree, but I, you know, I gotta, um, I'm gonna put this one to the side. I know, okay. Low Rock Pro Contour, I like this one and I am gonna go ahead and hold on to it. Simple as that. Cookie Professional, this is the contour palette. Um, this actually is another one that's really good. Um, these two shades kind of don't really work for me very well. This one would be really good um, uh, under the eye for somebody who's a little bit maybe tanner than me and this is just significantly deep on me but I do enjoy both of these um, contours and then both of the highlights. Now, do I need so many contouring palettes? Possibly not. So I'm, I'm gonna have to like let go because of something, some contouring something because I most of most these days I just wear very very natural makeup or not wearing makeup. Um, let's talk about another contouring one. This is Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette. Uh, this is a really good one. This was sent to me by my friend Mariella, and I like it a lot. Um, the, the only contour like um grayish contour that I have in my collection or like that I've tried that actually like contours on me it doesn't just look like too gray or just weird tone on my skin tone so i do really like this palette i do like the bronzer and the highlights so this one and i like that it's compact so i think i'm gonna go ahead since i'm keeping this one and i'm keeping the lorac one which has the you know the the same sort of high um shades and it's got the shimmery highlight so i think i'm gonna go ahead and let go of the koki one it's a really good like it's the formula is really good and i would definitely recommend it um if you're looking for, you know, for a contour palette. Um, yeah, price-wise, it's really good. It's really good for, yeah, in general, it's good, but I don't need so many. So this one, I am gonna go ahead and let it go. Uh, I do have the Wet n Wild contouring palette, uh, Dolce de Leche. I really think that, I can't remember if this was one that I've had for years and years and years or if it was one that I repurchased recently just because I was like, oh, I remember it being so good and then I just never used it. Um, yeah, so there's that one. Uh, this is like my, my personally put together um, bronzers in here. This is Benefit by Hoola. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Makeup Geek contour shade. I want to say this is maybe Bahama Mama by The Balm. And then this was um, Oliver from The Balm as well. Um, and this just came in an Ipsy, some sort of contour shade. I am going to keep this. Um, this bronzer, I... Oh, so powdery. I do really miss this bronzer that The Balm used to have. I, wanna, I wanted to smell it because um, their other bronzer, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later, kind of started smelling funky on me and I'm going to get rid of it. Um, but this one seems to be fine. I do really miss this bronzer. It used to be a really good one. I'm keeping this palette. Okay, here we go. We've got Smashbox. This is the Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette. Uh, <laughs> so this is kind of like got it all. Got all the highlighters, all the highlighters. Um, I really like uh, this specific palette because it has the three original shades that Smashbox has for contouring. So they do have like the highlighting shade, the bronzing shade, and their contour shade. You know, they sell that as a trio. Um, so I've held on to this one because of that mainly. I mean, the highlights are pretty nice. Some of them are okay. This one, I'm not really a big fan of it um the other ones are fine but this one just is kind of like glitter all over so i don't <sighs> hmm. i feel like i'm just gonna go ahead and let go of both of these yeah i i think i'm gonna let them go i do have a contouring palette one compact one and i have the lorac i've got tons of highlighters that i really really like in my highlighter highlighter drawers so i think I'm going to go ahead and let go of both of those palettes. And 
or at least for now, they're going on to the maybe side. Okay, let me go ahead and pull the other duos. I still haven't thought about this one, but all right, let me get other duos out. Duos, but I think those are all like bronzer duos, not um, not split pans. Yeah, they are. Okay, what am I gonna do with this one? With this contouring one? Um. a pretty good formula like a really good formula i do really enjoy it uh all right i'm gonna put it to the side as well i don't know what i'm gonna do we'll have to see how the bronzing declutter goes um wing dos i do really enjoy this one and i will be keeping it this is the satin bronze the bronze and sculpt and i think i have the medium yeah it's the medium one uh the medium duo i do really like it i enjoy both this one and this one like the shimmery and the sculpting one i like both of them and i'm gonna keep both of them um i do have this one from charlotte tilbury and i actually do really like it um i'm still gonna go ahead and hold on to it it's been a while since i've used it but yeah uh, from Cover FX, this is Sunkissed Bronze, the matte and the shimmer bronzer in here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Um, yeah, I, I'm just over it. I mean, the shimmer bronzer, I cannot use it as a highlight. It's too dark. Um, I could use it as a bronzer topper, but nah, I'm just going to go ahead and let this one go. I'm pretty sure a friend of mine would really enjoy that or would want to try it. Okay, Patrick Ta, this is, she sculpted. I really, really like it. She's not going anywhere, so she's staying here. Um, this one by Juvia's Place. This is in the shade medium. Another really nice one. I love the formula of these bronzers. Um, this is the medium. Yeah, I said that already. Uh, from Natasha Denona, the bronze and glow, this tiny little duo. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. It's just so small. I hate trying to reach for this thing. Um, it used to, I think this used to be to live in like my work, uh, makeup drawer because it's just so easy and compact and like if I needed to do, oh man, I just, a bronzer is so nice and creamy in here. Um, so yeah, this used to like live in that drawer just because, you know, sometimes I, I don't do my makeup at home or and I need to do my makeup there. So this was like always there, but um, yeah, I, I just, I feel like it's so small. I find it very difficult to reach in here, but then I swatched it. She's maybe, she's maybe. And then these are staying. All right. Now we'll go ahead and get started with the, <laughs> I was going to say, we can go ahead and get started with the other stuff, which is all the singles. So how do I want to do this? Do I want to do it by brand or do I just want to pull them all out? I believe that is all of them um unless like i find something somewhere at later time Woo! you guys wowza all right let's do this i think some swatching are gonna be in order here um so let's start where do we start um let's start with the ones that i know i really 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 like and i don't want to part with i'll show you those at least you know that's what i think i'm gonna start with um let's go ahead and start with the dior forever this is warm bronze the shade 05 warm bronze and this one is staying for sure um i'm gonna try to swatch and again like i'm just remember i'm extremely extremely tan currently like 
Hawaii was no joke. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love this bronzer. Okay, so this guy is gonna stay. It does look a little bit mauve now, but my, at least to me, sitting here, it looks a little mauve but there he is. Um, hey, he's a bronzer. He's a he. Um, I'm absolutely keeping Mac Aladdin bronzer. This is your wish is my command. Um, actually, this could be a really good one for me to use now. Um, this is more warm tone um, than the other one by Dior. The other one by Dior was more like a neutrally. Um, yeah, this is so pretty. I really need to play with it soon before before we all fade. Um, okay, uh, we have Gucci. This is, oh, I so want the blushes. I really, really want one of the blushes. This is the shade 03, bronzing powder, Eclat Soleil, and I'm also keeping this one for sure. Um, there we go. Thankfully, the smell is gone from this thing. I love the packaging, the gold and the turquoise. Mm, pretty, pretty. So she's staying. He, she. All right, let's move on. Um, other bronzers that I know I really, really like and I'm definitely gonna keep in cosmetics. This is Corselet Sculpting Bronzer. This is in the shade Silhouette. This is more, again, on the contour -y side, um, but it's so pretty. Look at that. I'm keeping that one. Um, House Labs. I'm obsessed. I have not been so obsessed with a bronzer in such a long time. Um, this is the Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. This is the light level four. It looks so good on my skin tone. It looks exactly like, it's just like exactly what I look what I look like when I tan. Like, you know, my face looks matches my body because <laughs> I sunscreen my face a lot more than I do my body. So, um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this guy. I really enjoy it and not going anywhere. We've got um, Hourglass. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these. Uh, this is Diffused. Um, bronze Light. It doesn't look like much in here and I'm not even gonna bother swatching it because again, it doesn't look like much but it's so pretty on this can. This is more on that cool neutral side and this one, the Luminous Bronze Light. It's a little bit more like warmer than this guy and I just really, really enjoy both of them. And yeah, I'm keeping it at least. Okay, who else do we have? Let's do uh, Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Medium. It's another bronzer that i definitely gonna keep. Here it is. So pretty. And it works really, really well. Um, LYS, this is the No Limits Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Motivate, which is the light shade um i gotta say it looks a, i felt like it looked a lot more intense in the pan than it does on my actual skin like with this one with you know i i have to build it up um during the summer month during the winter time which i don't know that i really used it much in the winter time it was kind of like transitioning to summer it it works but i do need to build it up um in the summertime but i do like that one i do want to keep it um there's i know there's more that i do really enjoy but let's start talking about some of the other ones that i'm like i don't know what i'm gonna do i think they're gonna go um for example this ulta beauty matte bronzer this is in the shade warm i think maybe i've used it only one time since i uh, last filmed this declutter <laughs> I, I don't know why I swatched it. It wasn't going to show up anyways. Um, so I, I am going to go ahead and let this one go. Okay. Elf. This is Forever Sunkiss. This is the primer infused uh, bronzer. This is a good one. Again, um, I do really enjoy it. But I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um... 
think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Okay. One that I know for sure I'm going to let go is the Ciatia London Bamboo Bronzer. And this is in Palm Island shade. What a crappy, crappy bronzer. I'm serious. This, this guy is crap bronzer. Um, it just, the shade of it is just so weird. Uh, it's not like orangey, but it's not ashy. And then on the skin, like maybe on my skin tone, it just looks horrendous. Maybe I need to be like much, much lighter for this to look good, but I do not like this bronzer. And the texture or texture wise of the bronzer is just kind of like feels kind of like sandy a little bit yeah no all right let's move along um i've got a couple from becca and i believe i'm gonna keep all of them <laughs> capri coast uh yeah this i i, I kind of like i went on the hunt i sent my friends on the hunt um i'm keeping this one she looks pristine still she's gonna stay duh okay, two more this is bali sands Clay Sands lighter or darker? Lighter. Um, okay. I think I might not be able to keep this. I think this might be too light for me. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let that go. Bali Sands. And then this one is um, Sunrise Waves. This one is the one that has like highlighting things on the side. I do really like this one. So I do want to keep this guy. Um, should I swatch it? Yeah. Because, well, why not? Here we go. All right. Mm, the MAC Bronzing Powder in Refined Golden. This guy, it's a good bronzer, but I'm just so sick of it. It doesn't go. I tried to finish this guy a couple years ago and it just, it's a good bronzer. It's a really good bronzer. Like if you want to buy one bronzer that we'll use every single day for maybe like two or three years, this would be it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Here's one that I'm like, I don't want to part with it, but I think I actually am going to. This is the MAC um Elia bronzer this is in the shade baby girl such a pretty like i really enjoy the packaging it's so beautiful um but this dang bronzer is too light like too light this is the one before it and then this is my colleague so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and let this one go this one from MAC, I think I'm gonna keep it and I believe I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of these. This is MAC in the shade Bayana Bronze. This is a, uh, this is a good one too. This is more matte. There we go. And this is the Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, it's another one that looks really good on me, kind of like when I just tanned or, um, not just tan, like, okay, this is what I normally would look like if I tan. Yeah, I'm keeping this one too, for sure. Uh, what am I gonna do with this? I think I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. It's just, yeah, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let that one go too. Okay, we've got, this one I do like, and I'm gonna keep, this is by Ilya. This is in the shade Drawn In. There's in, only two shades of, um, this bronzer by Ilya, uh, they only have two shades. This is the lighter of the two, but I do really like it and I'm going to keep it. Um, we've got Hot Cocoa by Too Faced. I think this was last year. This is just so cute. Just so cute, but it's so crappy. It's so unbelievably crappy. <sighs> it's like, yeah. This thing is crappy. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. Okay, the other two, this is Gingerbread Tan, the spicy bronzer. This, I actually like a lot more. It's got better formula. 
there it is. It looks like a sunburnt on me. Sweetie Pie the Radiant Matte Bronzer. And this one I do like as well. The formula is really good compared to that other one. Um, it's kind of like a blush bronzer kind of thing. Okay, keeping this one. Okay, we've got um, Kim Shi Chic Taylor Bronzer. I went to Waikiki. I am gonna go ahead and keep this guy too. I went to Waikiki. That's where I just went. There it is. One there. Um, we've got Nabla. This is Sin <laughs> Sink Skin Bronzing Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade Dune. I am keeping this guy for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've got Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder, and this is the shade Zero One Light. Um, I think I was like the last person on this planet to purchase this bronzer like the last kind of like og youtube watcher there it is it's beautiful i had to get rid of all the extra stuff that they had stuck on top over there okay we're we're making a dent over here guys we're we're getting getting somewhere okay all right all right all right what do we have i'm gonna do these two um, NARS, I have NARS Laguna. I'm absolutely gonna keep it. I feel like I wanna repurchase this guy in. I feel like I really wanna repurchase this in like their newer packaging. This is pretty old packaging. Um, I'm definitely keeping it. And then this one is the shade Casino, which is a little bit darker, although it does not look darker in the pan, but it is darker. I gotta like work through that top layer of it to get the color. I'm keeping both of these. Um, yeah. This one by Laura Mercier. This is the shade Ritual. This is a baked blush bronze. Um, let's see. I gotta check the time because I gotta go pick up my son. I do like this one too. I do enjoy it kind of like as a combo. Um, like a blush bronzer kind of combo. I'm keeping that one. Okay, I know for sure I'm gonna keep this glowish by Huda. This is in the shade 02 medium. So here it is. I'm like, I shouldn't have swatched it right now. I this needs a brush and I'm too dark for it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm keeping that one. Um Okay, we're kind of starting. Okay, let's let's do two that I know for sure I'm gonna keep. I am gonna go ahead and keep the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is the airbrush bronzer in the shade two medium. I do really like this one. Um, I, I I haven't purchased from her in a while, and I don't know. I was kind of curious about her newer bronzers, but then I didn't buy them. But her new quads coming out. I really like them. Marc Jacobs. This is the Tantastic um, shade Omega Bronze. It's a really nice bronzer too. And now he's no longer here. Out of business. Here we go. We're keeping that. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of... I'm definitely going to let go of the Balm Bronzella. This is the one that um, I had it in my everyday drawer. I, oh, oh, you shouldn't have smelled it again. Um, And I went to use it because I remember trying to like... When I was filming, I shot my stash trying to like swatch it. And I was like, why is it so gritty? Why is it so gritty? And then it does not smell good at all. I know this is one of their beauty, like their clean beauty ones. Um, so unfortunately, it went bad on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go. It's going straight in the trash. A recycling because those are recyclable. Uh, Revolution. This is the matte bronzer in the shade light. This is not light by any means. This is deep, deep, deep. Even like this is deep. I um, yeah, even for me, <laughs> uh, I gotta be very careful with this one. So there's that. 
I've got uh, Bare Minerals bronzer. This is in the shade Faux Tan. I am not gonna let go of this guy. I'm definitely gonna keep it. At least I think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, I'm keeping it. Notice that one. We've got Kylie. This is in the shade Tequila Tan. I'm gonna go ahead and let go of this one. So I'm, I'm just gonna let go of it. Um, I've got Wet n Wild. This is the color Icon Bronzer and the shade is Sunset Striptease. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one, but I'm gonna let go of the of the duo. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try again. Okay, well it's not swatching very well, but I remember this was a pretty nice one. Okay, I've got the Milani bronzers. These are the Suntan Silky Matte Bronzing Powders. One is in the shade 03, um, the Suntan, and then Sunlight, the shade 01. I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of 01. I think 01 might be too light for me. Yeah, I'm gonna let go of the zero one. I'm keeping zero three. Um, we got butter bronzer. This is uh, the original one, the original shade of butter bronzer. I am keeping it because I actually like it. I like the scent. I hate the packaging, but I do like the bronzer. Okay, almost done with the singles. Um, dirty. This is um. Oh, damaged. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in um, a little container to use as a uh, loose bronzer because I really, really like this one. I don't want. I don't want it to go to waste. My like my friend Valerie sent it to me. Um, Bare Minerals bronzer. This is in the shade Warmth. I think this one I'm gonna let go of. What shade is this Warmth? I prefer. I really prefer prefer it prefer the shade in the loose format so i'm gonna keep the loose i'm gonna let go of the uh pressed okay we've got believe beauty this is the sun kissed bronzer i do really like this one I, ah! the formula is super nice and the shade is really nice reminds me a lot of glowish by huda okay GG Gorgeous. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I came in Ipsy bag a while ago. It's okay. I like it, but I've got so many others that I love. Uh, Maybelline City Bronzer, and this is in the shade 200. I am keeping this baby. I like it. Here it is. We've got Lorac. This is in the shade Pool Party. Go ahead and keep this on. Do you want to keep it? Hmm. I'm not sure now. Okay. Okay. I have a uh, real her bronze bronze beauty. This is a little tiny bronzer. Uh, Power wear bronzer. Oh yeah. This came in Ipsy, but I really like this one. I'm keeping this baby. It's so tiny too. It's so cute. Um, L'Oreal. I need a darker shade, you guys. I really like it, but I need a darker shade. I'm going to get rid of this shade, but I'm going to get a darker shade. Um, this is in the shade light. I believe I got shade light. Yeah, 250 light. Why? I don't know. They looked really intimidating on their website. We've got Buxom. This is Vacation Vibes Rooftop Tan. This is the one. Here I go. That I always feel like. It's gonna break my nails. There it is. I am gonna go ahead and keep this one too. We've got Too Faced. This is the Sweetheart Bronze it's in the shade is Sweet Tea. I do like this one. I actually like it quite a bit, but oh, I hate the packaging, you guys. I'm gonna let it go. And then I've got more.
Morphe. This is Glam Bronze Icon. This is a um, face and body bronzer. Reminds me a lot of the one by uh, Marc Jacobs. Let me swatch the Marc Jacobs one next to it. I don't. I don't need to. Ginormous. Okay, so it's like a little bit more warm tone than the Marc Jacobs one. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one too next to them because they're kind of like all on that lighter side. I think I'm gonna go ahead and let go of the Morphe one. Hmm. The Lorac kind of looks crappy, doesn't it? Maybe I let go of the Lorac. I left, I kept the Lorac palette. I'm gonna let go of the Lorac. I'm keeping both of these and I'm getting let go of Too Faced. Okay, now that we went through all of them, let me go through the creams real quick and then we'll go ahead and visit the ones that were maybes and then I'll show you everything that I decluttered. Um, let's do the creams. All of the creams are currently here. I believe that's all of them. I don't think that I have any anywhere else. Um, Fenty Beauty. This is the Cheeks Out and the shade is 03 Macchiato. Um, I'm working on finishing this guy. I have a really nice pen in it. Um, I do really like this bronzer and I'm gonna go ahead and keep using it. Um, it's starting to get a little bit kind of like gunky from how many times I used it and like my brushes and all that. It looks a little bit gunky, but in there. I think that I, I did take this guy with me on travel on well, this last trip I went to, so I'm keeping that guy. Um, might end up actually keeping all of my creams, but we'll go through them real quick. This is by Danessa Myricks, and this is the Power Bronzer in the shade Medium. It is a uh, matte bronzer and shaping cream, but as soon as you use it, you like, um, like you pick up the product, it's cream and then blending it on it kind of immediately turns into a powder i really 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 enjoyed this shade especially because it has like those very tiny like shimmers in it um so yeah i do really enjoy this one i am gonna go ahead and keep it uh, a product that really reminds me of it formula wise would be the elf putty bronzers you know how these are like creamy and then when you apply them they turn into powder this is in the shade golden days um very similar formula to that but the the shade is definitely different i it wasn't supposed to be like i didn't get it as a dupe or anything like that but again super easy to work with because it is kind of like that formula um yeah these two are staying oh, all three so far uh, I have this NARS Laguna uh, cream bronzer, the, the, the relaunch of the original. Um, I do like this one as well. I, I, I do enjoy cream bronzers in general. I, I have a thing for them. Ooh, I got one. This guy is super creamy and I just dug my nail in it. There we go. So here's original Laguna. Again, I'm swatching, but I don't know how my swatches are showing or not showing. That is gonna stay as well. We've got Makeup by Mario. This is the Sculpting Stick. Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade is Light Medium. Oh, and this is the brush side. And this is the contouring side. What's going on? What in the world happened here? Shoot, okay, well that came off. Not so sure what's going on over here. I cannot twist this baby up twist it down yeah scraping that is so weird okay um here we go anyway i i don't know why it's not twisting up what in the here we go now now it's going oof this guy just completely out of its place uh maybe just because it melted it was so hot okay so here it is Mar by mario this is the soft sculpt stick i do really like this one too i'm definitely keeping it oh. did i not have enough caffeine today what is it 
Um, this I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. This was Bondi Bay, like whatever was left last year. I put it in here and then it was just, it dried out. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I do have Bondi Bay, a full brand new. This is by Nude Sticks. I love this thing, you guys know. Um, this is just like my normal shade. Sunkissed is more like a, a blushy. Very pretty as a cream, um, like a blush bronzer kind of thing. It's Bondi Bay, and then here's Sunkissed. And then the last one is Terracotta, which is the deepest. And this one is more bouncy, bouncy, but deeper. Okay, so here are those ones by uh, Nude Sticks, and they're all uh, the mattes formula. I don't, I don't know if they have any. What is going on? Nothing is. No, that goes here, and this goes here. Okay, does not want to stay in. Um, Iconic London, this is Caramel Glow. This is the sheerest of all the cream bronzers. Like this is super sheer. This would be something that you would apply um, if you just want some quick color on your face and running out of the door, super sheer. Um, it's ideal for me, of course, in the winter time because it's just super sheer, but it is pretty nice. Um, the last, or two more cream bronzers, this is by Huda Beauty. This is her... Um, Tan Tour, this is in the shade Fair, which is, even though it's fair, is still a, a deep enough shade for me personally. There it is. And then the last uh, stick cream bronzer I have. Sorry. And then the last one is the one by Persona, and this is in the darker shade, the shade Sahara. I snoozed and I did not pick up the lighter shade during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. But with this shade, this is supposed to be like a dupe, an exact dupe of the uh, of that famous Tom Ford contouring shade. Is it true or not? I don't know, but that's, that's it. That's what I've got. Um, so bronzers, the cream ones, I only got rid of one, but yeah, it's, I didn't think I was gonna get rid of any. There we go now. Let's go ahead and talk about the palettes that were maybe, or the couple products that were maybe. Okay, my maybes. Um, I am gonna go ahead and get rid of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, the Tarte one. Uh, sorry, the one by Natasha Denona. I'm gonna actually go ahead and hold on to it. I do really like the highlight. Um, and it's yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but it still works. Um, from Tartiste, the Pro Glow, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go, you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. I do really, really like it, and I think the shades are really beautiful, but it is an older palette, and mm, maybe it's time for it to go. Um, the one by Smashbox, uh, the Holidays, I am gonna go ahead and let go of this one, too. Um, I think if I were like to keep one of the two palettes, I prefer to keep the Tarte one, I think. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, the Smashbox one and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the one by Tarte. I decided. All right, so let's talk about the bronzers that I am getting rid of. The first one is by Siate London. This is the bamboo bronzer in Palm Island. I'm getting rid of that. I am getting rid of Becca. This is in the shade Bali Sands. I am getting rid of Cover FX. This is the bronzer duo in Sunkist Bronze. I am getting rid of Too Faced, a sweet uh, tea bronzer. I'm getting rid of uh, MAC uh, Refined Golden. I'm getting rid of MAC Alia. I am getting rid of a Too Faced Hot Cocoa. Kylie pff, Tequila something. Tequila Tan. Ulta Beauty Matte Bronzer. Lorac Pool Party. 
infallible by l'oreal um i do want to get this in lighter shade i think the formula is fantastic elf uh forever sunkist milani uh sunlight silky matte uh bronzilla by the bomb Gigi gorgeous the six sculpt duo uh bare minerals in the shade warmth uh, Mega Glow, the Tan Tour by Wet n Wild. I'm getting rid of the Cookie uh, Professional Powder Contour Palette and the Tarte Tartiste Pro Glow and a cream bronzer that currently resides or was residing in the uh, Chantecai Smitten um, Blush Package. Um, I have two more bronzers that um, were in my everyday makeup drawer that I've been using for the past couple days. This is Complex Culture. Um, baked bronzer in the shade is Sun Bath. This is just way too light. Like this is too light for me. And then the other bronzer that I have, and this was actually decluttered by my friend Mariella, which I swapped with her and it just does not work for me. It's too light, is the Kevin Aquan Contour. Um, the original contour and the sculpt powder in the shade is light. So I'm getting rid of these two as well. So I think I got rid of 22 bronzers. Um, like if I, this would be one item. Now let me count how many I'm keeping. One. What's 59 plus 22 used to be 81, 22 out of 81, quarter of my collection. I'm happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.